welcome to share knowledge actually we didn't have any plan to continue cybase videos but after that we received a number of people's request if possible then make new video on sap basis cybase means sap cybase database so then uh, we decided okay we will uh, continue our cybase video and uh, will complete the cybase full course as soon as possible so in today's video i will show you parameter related information means what is the parameter in cybase database how to change parameter how to check runtime value means whatever resources you allocated uh, how many resources occupied how many resources are going to waste and if you want to change and uh, if you want to check runtime value then which command will help to uh, monitor those values also i will show you what is the difference between cybase static parameter and dynamic parameter it is nothing but same parameter like but i will show you the parameter how to check cybase uh, dynamic and static also i will show you where all the parameters means where all the parameters stored at os level means which file contains all parameters and how to check so but before uh, starting this video i will suggest if you didn't watch our previous videos basics of cybase like um, user creation uh, user password reset how to lock and unlock user id how many types database available in your current sap system and uh, uh, what is the uh, cybase version or something like that means why i am saying this one because if you start this video directly then you didn't uh, get a proper information if you didn't watch our previous video so my request is please watch old videos and then start this video so let's get started now first uh, we'll log in at a cmd means command prompt level then we'll start logging isql here i will pass the smm means our system id then we'll give user id name sap sa all those information i already given in previous video so better if you didn't aware about this then watch previous videos then hyphen capital x then w and uh, here i will give the value 900 uh, 9000 it will be a good now we'll pass the password and then we'll get the screen now this is the first screen after login now if you want to check uh, what type of parameter right now in cybase database means whatever you value assigned like uh, memory related and uh, catch config related number of open database number of open connection what is the number of lock whatever you want to check this is the single parameter a uh, single command sp underscore monitor config monitor config hive space and code a double l then go after this you will get this type of output here you will show the uh, like uh, some uh, format like name number of free number of active practical uh, practical uh, uh, percentage maximum used reuse count and instance name if you have a number per uh, multiple instance then you will get a number of instance name but we have only single instance right now because this is my personal system so you will get here null now first i will introduce the columns name this is the name means this is the parameter name additional network memory audit queue size Compare, compression info pool size disk input output structure heap memory and different different type of parameter whatever parameter configure you can configure and you can get the value now the second column is number free so number free means whatever value you assigned after total value assigned whatever right now currently free it's called number free now number active so if you want to consider what is the total then you can just count you can just sum both of the value here 49061 plus 91 whatever value you will get this is the total allocation memory total allocation value 
here practical activation means total only uh, uh, 0.19% right now resources used other resources are no use now maximum used means total you have assigned 4096 but till today till today not only this time till today since installation the total maximum uh, the disk input out structure value high 345 345 and this is the reuse when you use reuse count whenever number of resources randomly looping at that time it's called reuse count okay so this is the number of different different parameter you will get here the most important parameter here is max memory max memory means whatever memory assigned you and a physical memory to virtual memory means database related memory it's called max memory so here if you want to count how much memory how much gbo you allocated then we just open calculator now this is the all entire memory in kb 512 1 2 3 4 now we'll give divide 1024 again 1024 so right now our database allocated 4.88 gb ram allocated means memory allocated and 100% use means all memory occupied so nothing waste total occupied total is the good shine if you allocated any memory if your computer or if your company wherever you work if you check the number of percentage are not 100 or less than 100 then you have to be sure it's required to totally 100 percent use otherwise whatever percentage remaining portions are waste now the another important person uh, another important parameter is number of locks this is randomly totally random whenever in your system if you want to monitor just check at peak time of your system this number will randomly uh, up and down so at that time you can easily identify should you increase number of locks or should you decrease the number of locks if you increase then it required more resources but if you decrease then it will be uh, you can use another place to the same resources then number of open database number of open objective and partition like that so this is the parameter list where you can check now if you want to check any particular single line parameter then sp now uh, will give monitor if you want to check on a single parameter then you have to give just name of the parameter like here we will check max memory max memory and you just give monitor config then you will get only single line look the single line parameter it's nothing if you pass all parameter if you pass all value then you will get num all the parameters whatever configured but if you give only particular name then you will get only single name parameter now if you want to change any value then uh, we'll take any parameter here i will take uh, number of locks okay this is number of locks parameter will change now first if you want to change any parameter value first you have to give command sp underscore configure okay and here will paste the value means and go first now you will get a total value what value we assigned 1 and 3 times 0 6 times 0 default value means if you didn't any uh, allocate any value then by default system allocated number of locks count 1 4 times 0 whatever system you install now the parameter type the parameter type is dynamic dynamic and static there are two type of parameter in sap as well as any database number any database system dynamic means whenever you change value you can you you can get the effect immediately means without rebooting the system but if the parameter show the uh, type of static then whatever you get uh, change value but you didn't get effect until system reboot so whenever you require any 
uh, effect immediately then you have to check first parameter which type of parameter you require if the parameter shows static then definitely it require reboot the system means reboot the, uh, restart the system if you didn't restart then you will not get the effect like in rz10 and rz11 if you edit a number of dialog uh, number of uh, background jobs and if you change uh, like uh, dialog processes then it's definitely require uh, reboot the system and if you save at that time system also asked uh, reboot the system if you didn't reboot then you will not get the effect so the same concept here also you can use it dynamic parameter versus static parameter now will change the effect uh, will change the value now after number of blocks what we do um, here we are located value okay like just and uh, 6 here we just give 10 only max now go now after this you will get a message configuration option changed ASC need not be rebooted since the option is dynamic the system automatically uh, change the effect now system not required to reboot you will get the performance whatever you uh, as per your parameter changes will and also you can check here return status 0 0 means it successfully changed if you get a value like uh, uh, 1 or 2 then it means the something goes to wrong and you have to check it now if you want to check again what we gave value number of logs parameter value before this before changing what here uh, here you uh, look like uh, look triple nine six five four and three forty six okay and uh, here you can also get the value look here okay now after giving this result you can check here so this is the method you can change the parameter value now if you want to show where is the file all the parameters will be stored so first it go OS level uh, means uh, not OS level file level because in Windows you can easily get this option but in uh, Linux you have to identify the file the then here you have to go to sybase and after SID here you will get the parameter look SMM001 SMM002 SMM003 this is the old file if you remember in uh, SAP RZ10 where whatever you changed and re uh, save at that time system immediately create a one number run, a random number if you have a 32 then it will new number 33 if you have a 33 then it will goes 34 same like also whatever after changes the file automatically create the new one and the file extension smm.cfg means sid.cfg configuration file okay here if you want to check then just open with notepad or whatever file because it's a simple notepad file look here number of database number of object like that same value you will get here like that so all the parameters changed at this file so if in linux you just find the file which is extension cfg Okay, this is the file. So, today I just completed these steps. Means this is the basic steps. I am not saying it's the advanced level step, but you are a beginner or you are at a SAP basis level, and uh, if you want to uh, know the basic parameter, because number of time if you are checking and if you want to check uh, what is the current parameter value, if required, because number of time uh, what uh, faced in issue, uh, what did you face in the company, like uh, number of logs full, uh, the number of people not able to log in because uh, some. Uh, background jobs are running and uh, number of logs pool and uh, some of uh, 
input output related issue and all the parameters and everything uh, is uh, everything good but the problem is you didn't get a performance and uh, you want to increase the memory that at that time those type of parameters uh, it will be help to uh, uh, help to change the value and uh, you can get a good performance so what we covered in today's video how to change how to check the parameter value which type of parameter available in your system uh, what uh, how many resources you allocated like uh, open database number of logs maximum memory input output structure and more uh, and many more parameters you already gave another what is the difference between static and dynamic parameter where all the parameters are stored means which file contains all the parameter value and how to change the value of any parameter single parameter in this video so i hope today's session would be good for you i hope you like this video please like share and subscribe this channel we'll meet once again shortly take care